Jayaha, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is, is AI or artificial intelligence good for humankind? You heard about it in the news or you already integrated that in your life in some form or another. The question is this, is artificial intelligence a good thing for the planet and humankind? Um, it seems that we are entering into a new era with a massive potential upgrade for our human race and this has to do with the rise of artificial intelligence. So. I'm not an expert in this, in this field. I have been exposed to what I heard in the news and you know, I haven't been necessarily uh, diving deep into it, into the scientific or the technological aspects. So I don't have the full information, but this is more like a philosophical or a kind of energetic exploration of what this means for our human race. What are the emotions and the feelings rising around that? And basically is AI a good thing? Is this going to upgrade our human race or is this going to lock us within control systems where governments and institutions and corporations and have even more power over, indivi over the individual and eventually everybody ends up completely enslaved to machines we can no longer control. This is like, you know, the potential I think can go both ways. So some of the shadow aspects are, are of course, you know, uh, controlling power being um, intensified, um, you know, trying to be to be sold stuff you know the selling aspects of of AI um, the enslavement of the human race and so on so in in when you try to imagine the the rise of machines you know and the rise of artificial intelligence you realize that there are lots of doomsday scenarios lots of shadow scenarios that come from pop culture and from hollywood right you have you know terminator science fiction movies and uh, all describe the same thing is like robots and uh, artificial intelligence taking taking over the earth and enslaving the human race to uh, fulfill their own agenda here on this earth so you know this is one aspect but the other aspect is the light aspect. It means that right now when you are buying a, a flight ticket or you are getting um you know goods delivered to you ai is already probably involved in the in the making of of these things and so there is you know positive aspects to it it's a little bit like fire you know with you get fire you get a certain amount of power it can burn your house down or you can make food with it or you can destroy what no longer serves you so with ai i think it's the same you know the same kind of thing to keep in mind it is that we've got shadow aspects to it and then we have light aspects to it or positive aspects to it. For instance, it can bring a sense of, um, you know, liberation to the enslavement that we are, you know, submitting uh, lots of human beings on this planet through, through um, you know, factory work and lots of things that could be completely automatized that right now humans are still needed for. And uh, the moment we, you know, imagine that everything gets automatized in, t in terms of production, for instance, you start having factories right now where humans are completely no longer needed, right? And so, is this a good thing? Yeah, of course, you know, why do you want humans to be doing the work that can be done by machines and completely automatized? You know, you go like, oh, we will be losing jobs, right? But other jobs are emerging, other activities for the human mind are, are emerging. Um, I think that there is a simplification, an optimization, an evolutionary speed. It means that we are speeding our human evolution, um, the, the possibility to optimize our bodies. For instance, if you have an AI intelligence that scans your body and checks where you need more nutritional value, what kind of diet you, you would be optimized for you, what kind of regime, what kind of rhythm for your day, where, are the, the, where is it that you can put your attention and your energy so that your day is optimized you know imagine that you have an AI form that says hey you are spending too much time right now um, just daydreaming go back to train your body for instance you know that there is some form of of resonance or collaboration that is established with source of feedback that are going to give you information that is might be precious for you um, 
the enhancement of human abilities for instance if you're an athlete right and you have some some form of artificial intelligence checking your performance and seeing where you can perform better the same with with absolutely all aspects of our lives and it's something that we are already doing right now right through, through the fact that we have access to the internet we have, have access to information we can enhance our lives thanks to systems that have been in place that uh, you know could have been really shadow systems but we as human race I trust that we have the skills and the powers to master all that and so for instance if we if we check with the rise of the internet right is the world a better, a better place with or without the internet is the world a better place with or without technology and <laughs> I like technology, I love technology, I love the fact that right now I'm recording this on this camera and that within a few minutes I'm going to be posting it online for you to see. It's powerful, it enhances and it empowers us as human race. And yes, I could be right now, uh, instead of speaking words of, of beauty or truth or love, I could be sending a message of hatred and uh, asking you to go and destroy or do something horrible, right? So. It's like that specific tool, the tools of technology and the tools of AI can be used for an enhancing of the human race, a liberation of the human spirit or complete enslavement, enslavement of the human race. So the question is, do we have the skills and the power to actually handle it positively? Um, what happened? For instance, with the internet over the last 20 years, right? Uh, the internet has been here solidly established on this planet for maybe uh, the last 20 years. Think about it. Think about everything that has been changing. So did it change for the best? For instance, right now, if I want to buy a ticket, I don't have to travel for half an hour through highways to go to a travel agent. I just, you know, go online, check have access to all the information to have the best deals and then make a make a purchase do i still go to travel agents to buy my tickets no why because uh going online is an upgrade of something that that is now outdated that that works way better today than it used to work in the past it gives you freedom it gives you access to information which is really powerful so imagine your life right now without the internet right without this greed of knowledge and this greed of information it's like if this is what you want or you would rather have that try to live without it for a week or two weeks or a month or three months and then come back to this video and tell me what your experience was. Were you happier? Did you miss something? Is it something that you think humankind should go back to? And it's possible, you know, I'm not saying that people are happier today. Maybe they are, but it's possible that if we were living in the jungle as, as tribes and, you know, in very primitive ways, we might be happier, it's possible. So with AI, it's a little bit the same thing. I think that there is a process of evolution that is happening that I feel in many ways is a little bit unstoppable because it's part of the human evolution it's something that we are moving towards and uh, I don't have all the answers and I you know this is just an open question that I'm putting out there for you to uh, to consider and to, to check how you're feeling about all that and um, there is something that uh, that is coming to my mind as well we think that we are creating an ai right that we're creating this uh, artificial intelligence systems my belief from a mystical perspective is that there is the embodiment of a new intelligence that is coming and we are just giving it a physical body it means that ai already exists in the conceptual levels it already exists out there it exists in the galactic grid it means that there is an artificial intelligence systems that is already set up in the form of these grids and that we as a human race we are giving this artificial intelligence or this system of communication that we call artificial intelligence i think it's much more complex than that but we are giving it a physical body so that this intelligence is anchoring itself on <laughs> this planet in our human race okay so we are giving a physical body to something that already exists i'm going to talk a little bit more about that in another video because it's a vast topic so i'm having some insights or feelings so but basically what we are saying is that right now there is like this body of energy 
um, that is embodying itself that is not earth-based yet it's like it's anchoring itself in um, in humankind and um, you know when you think about spaceships and you, sp you think about aliens coming on the, on this earth very often you imagine something that is human-like size right that your 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 eyes can see but imagine that we're talking about something much more complex which is the embodiment of an intelligence right now that is you know permitting the earth and starting to establish its roots on planet earth so yeah we'll do another video about that the question that i have for you the question that i have for you is when it comes to artificial intelligence what are you afraid of is there something that freaks you out that creates lots of anxiety in your system what are you excited about what are the things that you know you feel like like uh, are exciting about ai what do you th do you think that we should completely give up on ai that it's way too dangerous we don't have the tools we don't have the values we don't have the ethics to handle it we are going to mess it up and you know within a few years within 50 years we are going to be completely enslaved as human race to machines that we no longer control that are going to take over our freedoms and so on so is this something that you think that you feel um what system do we need to put in place to feel safe in this expansion right and um, a couple of other questions is should our bodies merge with AI I'm not sure if you saw this with you know Elon Musk talking about it you know there are ideas and there are lots of technologies emerging right now where artificial intelligence is already starting to merge with our bodies and sometimes much more complex than just a chip that you put in your brain or you know on your on your on your chest um, it's something that could be in the form of very evolved organs uh, that can be you know replacing some of <laughs> aspects of our being you know like having an implant in uh, in our eyes that is this very subtle lens that gives us extra uh, visual abilities and ability to access information about what we are seeing so do you feel like the the human being should evolve in that direction and that we should start merging with artificial intelligence and um you know the the in our bodies in our brains or you know so that we enhance our human abilities and of course you know to a certain extent this is already existing and happening on this planet right now so this is an open discussion you know I don't have answers for that and uh, I know that it's already a heated discussion but it's an interesting topic to check because it's a direction towards which we are moving as a human race so we have this you know this big huge potential to enhance our lives uh, as a human race and personally I I trust that we as human beings have the power to pull it off that uh, life on this planet 50 years from now can might look radically different thanks to the technological advances and thanks to these new technologies that are emerging including artificial intelligence that's my personal belief i i trust i believe in the human race and um, I'm in a state of uh, pronoia, which, is mean, <laughs> which means that I believe that there is a conspiracy here on this planet Earth to, um, uh, to help us as a human race access our highest possible potential. I don't think that right now life is playing a trick on, you, on us and giving us the tools for uh, self-destruction and self-annihilation. I think that it's a collaboration process where we are going to enhance our human life and uh, optimize the different aspects of our beings and that this is going to be some form of energetic collaboration with new technologies that are emerging right now. So my question to you is, what do you think? Do you think that it's a good thing? It's a bad thing? Tell me why and uh, what should we do about it? I love you.